Hey everybody, Game Night here. I want to show you a cool little trick today on how to add a timer to Streamlabs OBS. So maybe you want to have channel points where you're playing with the controller upside down for five minutes, or maybe you're counting down to a certain thing happening from a half hour from now and you want to keep track of it uh, on stream, maybe hype everyone up. You can easily format how the, the, the timer looks, counting up, counting down, whatever you want. So I'm going to show you how to use Snaz today. So the first step is obviously going to be downloading Snaz itself. I have the URL in the description below so you can easily follow that link and come to this page. 1.12.7.0 is the latest version. You're going to click on the Snaz setup.exe, download that, and then set it up like you normally wouldn't install any other program. So you have Snaz downloaded and opened up. You're going to see five different tabs here. The two primary ones that you're probably going to want to focus on are the time, date, and countdown and the Chronos tabs. On the time, date, and countdown, three different options. You can simply paste the time and use that on stream. You could use the date in different formats, or more likely what you would use on this one is a countdown to a specific time. For instance, say you're going to be premiering a video or making an announcement at a certain time during the night on stream. You can set that time right here in the countdown. It'll generate this live output. So right now I have it set for an hour and 16 minutes out. And then you can have a message when it's done. So countdown is done or video going live, whatever you might want to say, you can have that appear on stream as well. Once the countdown finishes under Chronos, you can have a chrono down. So maybe you want to set it at five minutes and you know, you have a incentive to play with your controller behind your head for five minutes and you can pop it up and a live output and countdown for five minutes. Maybe you want to have a chrono up where you're going to be playing viewer levels in Mario like I do and you you want to set a max time limit to 10 minutes per level what you can do is put a chrono up and hit start when you start the level and I'll count up and once it hits 10 minutes you know that you're done okay so now we need to add these into Streamlabs so when you're looking at any of these five different sections you'll see that there is a copy path to clipboard now in order to get them to to appear you do need to start a timer otherwise it'll be blank but once you have it you can copy any one of these texts so if you want to use chronos up for instance you'll hit copy path to clipboard then in your Streamlabs, you're going to add a new source and we're going to do a text source and hit add new call it count up and then what you're going to do is click this read from file box and you are going to paste that in there and you can see boom it is already in there now what's really cool about this is it's super easy to format like you would any other text but obviously the timer is going in real time so if you want to change this font to something else whatever it is that you might want you can do that you can change the colors to make it red add outlines anything that you would like to do like you would normally do with other text and there you go added to Streamlabs, super easy okay so what else is really cool with this is you can easily set this up with stream deck or other hotkey integration uh, for instance in my stream deck i have this start pause and this stop button set up so if i want to hit start pause there you go timers paused if i hit stop it'll make it disappear and then if I hit start pause again, it's going to pop right back up and start that timer over for you. Now, in order to set that up, you're going to come back over to Snaz and you'll go to file settings and then hotkeys. And you can set up the hotkeys for either your chrono down, chrono up, uh, the start pause, and then the stop can also act as a reset. In order to make that happen, you're going to go to the chronos up tab over here and on runtime reset to zero on every start that'll make it when you hit stop and then you hit st start again it'll actually reset to zero and start on over again well there you have it wanted to keep it nice short and sweet for you that's how you can set up multiple different timers for your live streams through streamlabs obs do the same thing in obs too uh, but you can set up your format of your text however you want it like stream deck integrations or hotkeys for your keyboard but if i missed anything you have any questions please leave a comment down below let me know any likes and subscriptions would be very much appreciated we are live streaming now on youtube on tuesdays and saturdays at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time so i hope to see you there as well until next time have a great day and happy gaming